Hello there, I'm Tom from Smart Aerials and in this video I'm going to show you how to set your skybox to single feed mode uh, which you may need to do if you've only got one, one cable available, one satellite cable available to go into your skybox or you might be into it in a communal block of flats or something and they've only got a single feed system uh, which hasn't been upgraded, upgraded to SkyQ or anything like that so you may need to do this just to get it all working properly um, when you do this your recording facilities aren't going to work properly you'll be able to record stuff but watching one thing and recording another thing you're not going to be able to do so uh, just bear that in mind but you may not have a choice you may not be able to install another cable uh, uh, we've got our uh, sky picture working up already we've got our sky box down here at the moment we've still got two signals going in so I'm just going to disconnect one of them um, and hopefully the pitch will go off on this one No, no, let's try the other one. So, I'm just, I'll just want this picture to go off. Uh, it's starting to go. There, so I'll put this, I'll put input two back in. Now, what's happened there is, because you've got one that sort of does responsible for your recordings, and one that's responsible for your live picture, just for the purpose of the video, I wanted to show you um, what happens with disconnect the signal when the picture goes, not recording. So, you can see there, we've actually got a signal going in, but I've got no, no picture. Uh, so to get around this, we're going to have to go to the installer menu and set the box to single feed mode. And we do this by going press on your Sky handset, pressing services. When you're on this screen, press 001 select, 001 select. And this will, that didn't do it properly, let's do that again. <laughs> let's try it again. Right, services, 001 select. What's going on here? Services, zero, zero, one. There you go, so it's brought into the installer menu. I'm not too sure what happened the first two times there, but um, it kept going to the TV guide, but now we're in a installer menu, it says installer, and we've got lots of options that, which aren't normally available. Um, so what we're gonna go, we're gonna go find, under setup, we're gonna go down to single feed mode. So press select on that, it's gonna go. Because I'm too close to the box here. And we're going to put that on and save settings. Now, it's just giving me a message saying that this will take a few minutes to complete. It's got to go through some settings and stuff like that. Press and select will reboot your Skybox and current recording has to be stopped. It means you can only record one program at a time, which is already, already well, because I already told you. Uh, now, I'm going to press select. And I don't know if that's getting it or not. Okay, I press select a few times there. And while we're waiting for that to do what it's doing. I'm just going to talk a couple of things about SkyQ. Now, doing this with SkyQ you can't do uh, because of the, yeah, there you go, it's just gone there. Uh, because of the way the LMBs work with SkyQ, they, they're designed to work with both sets of signals. Now, these two signals here are coming off a universal quad LMB, well, it's actually an octo, but they work the same way, and they're both identical, so they can both do the same thing basically. It doesn't make you mix them around, it doesn't have to get them in the right way. Um, with SkyQ it's, it's a little bit different because you've got one, one cable responsible for all your horizontal signals um, you know horizontally polarised signals that come down from the satellites and one's responsible for your vertically polarised signals the radio waves go through like that if you wonder what I'm doing <laughs> because, because, it, because it works like that um, you need both sets of signals now it is possible to put a SkyQ box onto a single feed um, you go into the settings and you go into LMB settings and you go to SCR mode but it won't work properly because you need to convert the signal from a traditional SkyQ LMB signal to a DSCR signal so you, there's a couple ways you can do that you can do it by changing the LMB on your satellite dish and there are new LMBs that have just come onto the market it's still very expensive they still cost me about £85 to buy which is, you know, bearing in mind that I'm in the trade um, including the VAT um, and you can do that. So if it's um, if it's not possible to put another cable in uh, for the SkyQ to work pro properly and upgrade the MB, that's that's a get out of jail free thing. Well, not free. Get out of jail for eighty five pounds plus plus the installer <laughs> to install it if you're not doing it yourself. Um, alternative, if you live in blocks of flats, it's a little bit more complicated because they're going to have to upgrade the whole system or certainly half of the system uh, to make this technology reach your flat. Uh, and the, you, so you have to go to your managing agents or your landlords or whoever's responsible for your TV system and they're going to have to do big upgrades to the system to make it work and just as a warning it is quite expensive, the, 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 the amps and stuff are still very expensive actually 
Um, eye watering expensive. They're, they're about double the cost of normal multi switch amplifiers, uh, which aren't cheap anyway. So I always get a, like a, a bit of a shock when I have to give my quotes out, but that's just the cost of the parts and stuff like that. So that's still going. So it's still doing its thing. It's just going through its settings and hopefully it'll finish soon because I'll just keep waffling on about it. I'll have to find something else to talk about. <laughs> So the skybox is finally finished, uh, do, doing what it's doing, it's ready to be powered on, so we've just got to turn the box on now. Give it a minute. There it goes, so it's working happily on the single feed. Uh, if we go to services and we go to settings and across the signal. You'll see there's one, there's one signal, there's only one option there. Now normally there'll be input one, input two, uh, and we'd have two sets of signal. And, uh, but there's only one option now. If you set to single feed mode, there's any issues you could get with the, the, the receiver not knowing which input to look for the signals, that, that's all gone, because we've only got the one cable connected. Um, if you're wondering why we've got a low input signal strength and signal quality, it's worth noting that they don't really mean much, those signal guys. They, they're all okay as a rough guide, but there's no such thing as a hundred percent signal, it doesn't we don't you don't read signals like that, uh, and signal quality uh, that that should be a full bar. So if it wasn't a full bar, you'd be getting pixelation and stuff like that. You see, we're not getting th pixelation. Um, it all depends how the boxes um, you know interpret the signals and stuff like that. So if I was to plug that into a different box, you'd probably find I get a hundred percent signal quality, hundred uh, percent signal strength, but it doesn't really mean anything. It's, it's okay as a rough guide. So. That's it, so I hope you like this video, it shows you how to put um, the box into a single feed mode, hopefully you don't need to call out an installer to do this for you because it's actually very simple. Um, if you have any questions about this or any other aerial satellite related questions, uh, AV, CCTV, with all that sort of stuff, please do put them in the section below. Uh, please do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and please do subscribe to our YouTube channel for lots more videos like this. Thank you, bye.